uh, using the flux of ids i will be able to get one id each point of time and i'm going to use a map out here friends please see this i'm going to use a map right and when i use a map here you see this each element here in the map each time you know the flux publishes 101 and then 103 and then 105 x is 101 103 105 and so on right so i go here and use this x to pass as a parameter to the service what is that service you know how does it really look like this is how it is you see so i'm going to use this mono out here i scroll up here and i'm going to just put it over here like this you can see this mono of customer web client and there's a customer id will that be customer id or x it's going to be x this is that x that i'm getting as a customer id each time it is publishing 101 102 or sorry here in this case it's 103 and then 105 right and then i get the value and that's what i return back from here when i say return i'm going to return what the customer object is it the customer object or a mono it's a mono of customer that's what i get now when i put a semicolon out here it's giving me an error there is a compilation error out here got it and this compilation error here is what this compilation error is what you know what is this supposed to do what what, what do you think this has got to do with is it supposed to be a map because here i'm expecting a flux of customer what am i returning back from here is the mono of customer you see this i will have to use what class cast no yes i will have to use a flat map so i'll say flat map out here friends we have discussed this yesterday if you want to uh, if you want to flatten up the data structure if you want to flatten up if you if you want to flatten up monos into flux then in that case you use a flat map like this or even maybe multiple flux if you've got say 10 flux and you want one single flux out of it you will have to do a flat map so maybe maybe you know this particular thing is returning a not a mono but a flux suppose suppose you don't whatever api you invoke out here that returns to you flux of customer and you want one single final flux of customer here so you will not otherwise suppose if i do not do a flat map here friends please see this if i just do a map here then in that case i'll say i will have to do something like this flux of mono of customer this is what i will have to do this is what i'll have to do correct but no this is not what i want i want just simply the flux of customer in such a case i will use a flat map right i'll use a flat map yes exactly i'm going to use a flat map here so as i said as I, as i was saying that maybe this api returned flux of customer maybe it's a different api you've got a different use case and this returns a flux of customer but then finally what you want is a flux of customer out here so you will not say flux of flux of customer by using a map instead you will use a flat map it will convert all of those flux of customers into one single flux of customer right that's how it is so this works so far so good but then can there be an elegant way of writing this friends please see i hope you all are there with me friends it's not only about using the apis but it's also about using the apis elegantly it's about using the apis in a way that it is more and more reusable and 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 and, and easily testable you know the code that you write if it is not unit testable what i mean to say is that if it is difficult for you to write unit test cases then that code is not good you must be able to write uh, e easily write rather easily write test cases for the code that you have written so please see this friends every now and then it's the same thing from here i'm calling mono of customer and then you know i'm calling this web client dot get customers customer id stuff and all from here also i'm doing the same thing i don't want that i don't want that what i'm going to do here is that i am going to you see i'm going to just simply copy this entire stuff here as it is okay and i will go right on the top and i will create a function out here okay i'll create a private function and i will say it returns a mono of customer and here okay mono of customer and i say get customer by id right that's the function i say string customer id string customer id i open and close bracket out here friends and i'm going to just copy paste that here and i say return customer here instead of x out here it's going to be customer id right see this customer id here and this works like a charm fantastic now am i going to make use of this function or not yes where will i make use of this function we already have something already written out here so instead of doing that we will just simply say you know return i'll say this dot 
formula right get customer by id and customer id that's it done and i scroll down out here and then here in the flat map also i will instead of writing this whole thing here i'll say return what will i write this dot get customer by id i pass that x as a parameter you see that x is a parameter there i hope you are all with me friends can i get a quick roll call you're all with me some very interesting things coming ahead okay good 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 super 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 very nice very nice very nice please see this now friends see this flat map this flat map yes good thanks see this flat map out here friends when i go to this flat map please take a look at this flat map what is it that it is expecting as a parameter sorry i'll once again click on flat map here you see this flat map what is it taking as a parameter come on one word answer what is it taking as a parameter it's a it's taking a parameter yeah it's a function superb it's a function what is a function what is java.util.function come on what exactly is yes very correct great what is java.util.function it takes one parameter and returns a value back right it's yes it's a functional interface perfect it is a functional interface and that functional interface here friends please see this see function you can see this here function java.util.function.function dot dot function. this is how it is it takes one parameter and it returns a value back right that's how it is i repeat it takes one parameter it returns a value back am i right now my point here is so this is that lambda expression i repeat this is that lambda expression correct which confirms to java.util.function it gives me one parameter this x represents 101 the first time second time 103 and 105 so this x represents the input value and this return this dot get customer by id what is this supposed to return mono of customer i repeat this is supposed to return a mono of customer this is the function that we have just written friends please see you got that we have just written this function coming back here so this is a lambda expression representing a function which takes one parameter and returns a value back in this case it takes a string and returns back a mono of customer all agree all of friends all agree it takes a string and returns a mono of customer come on yes or no you got that right it takes a string as a parameter and returns a mono of customer I repeat it takes a string and returns a mono of customer i repeat it takes a string and returns a mono of customer one more time i repeat it takes a string and returns a mono of customer what is the signature of a function this particular function this method sorry i'll call it a method what is what is the uh, signature of this method it takes a string and returns a mono of customer same thing right it takes a string returns a mono of customer i repeat takes a string returns a mono of customer this is a method this is a method that i already have and this method is in an object of which class in voice rest controller can i refer to the object of this class with this can i refer to the object of this class runtime with this this yes can i refer to this method now see now my code becomes all the more sweeter right all the more sweeter so i'm going to remote remove all of this tam jam i'm sorry thoda slang language tam jam you know here and there all that circus i'm going to remove and i'm going to write this this double colon i'll say get customer by id that's it done see the piece of code now see the code now my dear friends two lines of code right just two lines of code and i can and you can reuse this this double colon get customer id get customer by ID. am i calling this function or i am passing this function reference am i calling this method okay sorry not function method well you can use it interchangeably that's fine but just in order to you know you, you know put the things there in the right perspective this get get customer by id right this is a method reference i repeat this is a method reference so this double colon get customer by id i am passing the reference of this method to flat map i'm not calling this function here that flat map in turn will make a call to this function passing x as a parameter and taking a mono as a return type back right friends understand this point it is flat map that is going to call this function i'm not calling this function here i am just passing the reference of this method right so this method will be called by flat map which is a higher order function i'm going to call that as a function i'm going to call this as a method just for the sake of convenience out here otherwise let's not get into the debate of you know what is a function and what is a method <laughs> right so get customer by id is a method in an object of the, uh, which belongs to an object of this class it's written in this class it's an instance method this double colon so friends this is how you write this code right this is how you will write it 
Correct. So if at all you have written it in some other way, keep it. Don't remove it. Comment it out and write the code in this way and check the results whether you're getting exactly, uh, you know, the data as expected. You must be getting 103, uh, you know, 101, 103 and 105, just the three uh, customer objects. Let me get that restarted. I go back to my Chrome and in Chrome I say localhost 8081 slash. I say select hyphen customers. That's the API. I get only 101 here, 103, and you see this 105, it works like a charm.